right, guys. Welcome, welcome to the two days after the 4th of July. Well, I guess it's Monday, something like that. All right. So um, if you are just coming in, you'll need a kettlebell for swings and you'll need some dumbbells for curls. And that should get, get us through our whole circuit. We're going to be doing EMOMs. So that's going to be every minute on the minute. We're going to be doing um, some swings and some presses. And then we have a, a different uh, pull complex that we'll be going into. And it's going to be great and fun. Story of the day. OK. <laughs> The, so, yeah, this story, this story is always a little, a little on the funky side. So um, there's this, there's a farmer, and guess what he has? He has a donkey, not a lion. He has a donkey, and he um, is uh, going to market with a bunch of salt on this donkey, all right? So he has baskets full of salt, and he has to cross a river. So he goes across the river, and the donkey slips and falls, and then half of the load is dissolved in the river because it's salt, right? And the donkey gets up and he's like, hey, my load is less now. This is pretty cool, you know? So then the next day, the, the uh, farmer loads him up again with salt. He goes across the river. And this time, the donkey accidentally slips, slips on purpose. So to get rid of his load, and he gets rid of almost the entire load. And the farmer gets so mad that he brings the donkey to the shore and he fills up his basket full of sponges. And then when the donkey goes across the river and the donkey falls, he um, then is loaded up with water and his weight is now 10 times what it was with the salt, you know? And it, this, this story feels a little like, a little on the guilt trippy side to me, I don't know. It's, it's, a, little, it's a little rough, but it's, it's supposed to talk about not cutting corners, you know? And um, I have realized that quite a bit throughout this whole pandemic thing. And, and, my own personal training and days where I don't feel like training and how hard it is then to train and get back into it. So it's like, it's like, re remember, remember the, the, um, what motivates you, what keeps you going that feel good. Even, even if you don't feel like working out, you still feel so good after you do it and just keep remembering that as opposed to the opposite, which is, you know, not working out. Right. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get into it. We're going to be doing jumping jacks. If you're not doing jumping jacks, then you're doing some body, body weight squats. Um, otherwise, you're, I'm going to count the first five. You're going to count the second five. And go. One, two, three, four, five. And go. One, two, three, four, five. And go. One. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome, guys. Second set. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last set. Last set. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. I go one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome, guys. Let's start on the floor. In our quadruped position. Sarah, you need a, a mat? Sorry, guys. No mat, no mat, no mat. Wait, 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 wait. All right. All right, guys, we're going to go knee to elbow, knee out to side, up and back and down. We're going to do these nice big hip circles. We're going to do 10 forward, 10 back. Getting those hips 
Nice and warmed up. Taking it slow, taking it controlled. Then going up and back, out to side, down, reversing it. You splitting, Josh? You splitting? Okay. Nope. All right, guys, once you've done 10 forward, 10 back on that side, switch it out to the other leg. Nice job. Oh. And then reversing it. Bye, Josh. All right, let's go back to the original leg. We're gonna do some fire hydrants where we're just doing some lifts. You're not lifting your hip. You're keeping those hips stable. Really feeling it in the glute. Just give me five. And switching out to the other side. Hopefully everybody had a safe 4th of July. I basically slept through it. It was very nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Guys, we're gonna take, we're gonna push back onto our heels. We're gonna push our, have our hands push us back onto our heels. We're gonna go ahead and take that right arm I want you to reach through, try to get that shoulder to the ground, and then I want you to rotate out, following your elbow with your eye, coming back down. Go ahead and give me five with the rotation. Ugh. Five, switching it out. Oh. Okay, one second, guys. I just need to make sure I hit record. No, I didn't. Record. Okay. Nice job. All right, guys, let's go ahead and lay on our sides. We're gonna do our side lying archer. So I'm gonna make sure that my knees are stacked. One hand is on top of the other. And then I'm gonna drag that hand across my chest. And I'm gonna look back at that hand. I'm trying to get that shoulder close to the ground. I'm about six inches away. Go ahead and give me five on the right, five on the left. Taking it to the other side. Woo! Really feel that stretch in that upper torso, that chest, that thoracic spine. Keeping those knees stacked the whole time. All right. Nice job. We're gonna get up. We're gonna grab our kettlebell, or if you have a dumbbell, that's okay too. So, we're gonna do our kettlebell warm up. So, for my kettlebell warm up, what I wanna do is I'm gonna stand in front of my kettlebell. All right. And what I'm gonna do is, my feet are in a more narrow position because this is, this is more my deadlift position. And then I'm gonna squeeze my glutes at the top. I'm gonna to bring my butt back to that back wall and I'm gonna reach behind me to touch that kettlebell. 
and then I'm gonna come back up again, all right? So I'm just touching the horns and then squeezing those glutes at the top, getting this hinge position warmed up. Doing 10 of these. Really trying hard to stay in those lats so we're not curving that back. We're keeping that back really flat. All right. Once we've done 10 of those, we're gonna line up our shoelaces with the horns of the kettlebell. Same thing. Coming down, pull that butt to that back wall, touch it, come back up. If you can, Sarah, narrow up your feet more. Narrow, narrow yeah, yeah, there you go, there you go, yeah. Yeah, because we don't want to be in a squat. We want to be more in this RDL slash deadlift position. Yeah. All right, we got 10 of those. Now we're actually going to do our deadlifts. So this time I want you to come down. I want you to grab it and come up. Now, if you have a dumbbell, you're just going to hold it in a goblet and you're gonna just do the same exact thing. But I want you to make sure you get all the way to the ground and then all the way up, 10 times. Yeah, touch the ground, pull that butt back to that back wall each time, feeling this in your hamstrings. So not feeling it in your lower back, but feeling it in your hamstrings. Yeah. Ten, nice, all right. Now guys, we're gonna work on our swings. So, again, if you, have a, if you have a dumbbell, that's fine. You can just go hand over hand. You're gonna be pulling it back and then coming up. Your hips motivate the kettlebell or the dumbbell forward, and then your lats push down on the kettlebell to get it back. So you're never ever lifting in your arms with a kettlebell swing. It all comes from the inertia of the movement. So we always wanna start with the kettlebell forward. We're gonna come back, up, just go into shoulder height, and then pushing back down, letting that kettlebell pull you over, and then really locking out those hips at the top. All right, so go ahead and give me 10 of those. Always end just like you started with that hike. Much better. Okay, okay. What do you think you're doing different? Yeah, yeah. Well, and the other thing too, to make sure that you really activate those lats is when you're grabbing the horn, when you're grabbing the horn of the kettlebell, pretend like you're bending it, like you're breaking the horns, all right? So you're twisting those elbow pits forward, coming back, and then that's really gonna activate those lats with this, all right? So I'm gonna set the clock for 10 minutes. Oh, actually, let's go ahead and do our, pu our pushes too. So, I mean, I'm sorry, our presses. If you have a kettlebell that you can do a press with, you're just gonna stand here in this, in this position and you're gonna press the kettlebell up and then back down, all right? You're gonna give me five of those. With, let's, yeah, let's just do it right now to see if your kettlebell's good. If your kettlebell is too heavy, grab your dumbbells and do it, all right? There you go, nice Reba, yeah, yeah. So, with an EMOM, we set the clock for 10 minutes. We're gonna do 10 kettlebell swings and then five presses the rest of the minute is yours to rest, okay? So I want you to get at least 15 seconds of rest. If you're getting less than that, I need you to shave off some reps. If you're getting more than that, then I want you to add reps. So either add some kettlebell swings or some presses, it's up to you, you know, whichever way you wanna go with that, all right? So this is gonna be for 10 minutes. Wait, 10, swings? 10 swings and then five presses, yeah, to start, and then you can adjust it. And we're going now. Always start with that hike position.
All right. We got about 28 seconds left in this in this uh, round. It's up to you if you want to add some reps. That was a lot of that's uh, you know a considerable amount of rest, which is fine. But if you're feeling gassed, use the rest. If you're not feeling gassed, add some reps. All right. And we're going again in about five seconds. Two, one, hit it. Nice job, Heather. Um, Josh always comes up with the strength workouts and then we switch on and off with the uh, metabolic um, sometimes it's just faster for him to come up with the metabolic workouts he's just better I mean he's just has so much so many more years of experience as far as programming is concerned um, and then he can keep a real consistent we're going for it pattern for the month I've added a couple reps to mine. 12 swings, seven presses. So Reba, on the down, I want your elbows into your, into your rib cage, and then um, your elbows splay out when you're at the top. So don't, don't come halfway down, come all the way down. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Just more of a uh, full range of motion, right? Yeah. All right, guys, we're going for it. The water bottle. It's not treating me well today. Thank <laughs> you. 
us. I think the tough part with that story of the day, it's like, we don't wish you any pain. We don't want to put. <laughs> We are all under so much stress. <laughs> There's a lot going on with the quarantine. All right, guys. Here we go. Round six. In. in, in. <sighs> yeah. Really let it pull you over. Locking up those legs. Locking up those hips at the top. Where you pull your butt back to the wall, 
Staying in those lats. Don't curve that back. Don't lose those arms. Really squeeze those shoulder blades together at the back. And then we have our upright rows. So then we're coming up. We're really leading with those elbows again, squeezing those glutes in that. And then we're going to do 30 seconds of overhead carry, all right? So you're going to have your dumbbells overhead. And you're going to take steps, maybe five steps forward, five steps back, 30 seconds of that, all right? And then going back, all right? Does that make sense, guys? Cool. All right, we've got four rounds of this, four sets of this. I'm going to turn on the clock so you can watch for 30 seconds in case you get faster than I do. But it's not speed strength. All right, so you're going slow and control. And you're giving me 10 curls, and then 10 rows, and then 10 upright rows, and then your 30 seconds of work as far as your overhead carry is concerned. Ten, yep. Really pulling that butt back, feeling this in the hamstrings, and then squeezing those shoulder blades together. Full extension of those arms at the bottom. Alright. Then my upright rows, leading with those elbows, squeezing those glutes. <laughs> you grab the 15s? Yeah. I thought it was gonna be other couple sizes. Just do one dumbbell. Okay. All right. Then 30 seconds of overhead carry. Arms are as straight as you can possibly get them. Keep those rib cages down. steps. Yep, trying to get those arms as straight as you can get them. There we go, there we go, there we go. 30 seconds feels like a long time. Wow. Does it mean that the time down? Yeah, that was really good. Is that, I think, that, Sarah, did you put that name up? You want to slow time down, do a plank? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think my favorite 
Sarah moment was when you were like, you made us do 90 jumping jacks. Like, what were you on? And I was like, you always do 90 jumping jacks. Oh, yeah. That was really good. Um, and yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I, I did that math daily. <laughs> instead. 
with your dumbbells. All right. Yeah, okay, Steve, you got a band, Heather. Yeah, cool. Okay, awesome. All right, guys, so we're going to start with our plank arches. So let's do these all together. We're going to come down onto our forearms. We're going to do 10 plank marches. So what I want you to make sure is that you get your butt at the same height as your shoulders, and then you're going to kick up, and you're going to kick up, okay? Now you're going to do 10 on each side. Let's go. Now you're not getting height with this. I want you to get your butt down more, Kyla. There you go, there you go. Yep, not getting height with it. Either with those legs or with those butts. Get that butt down, Sarah. There you go. So switch it out each time because you're marching, Jasmine. Oh, yeah, you're marching. Yeah, there you go, there you go. All right. Turn off that timer because it's going to get annoying. Now, we have our banded pull-aparts, our bridge pull-aparts. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down onto our backs. I want you to have your knees up. I want you to push your lower back into the ground to start. I want you to grab your band so that your wrists are directly out from your shoulders. You're going to bring your hips up in the air, and then you're going to do a pull-apart, bringing your hands all the way to the ground, and then back up. So you're staying in this bridge the entire time. Butt up as high as you can get it to the ceiling. And you're going to do 10 pull aparts. Uh, nice. All right. Then we have our favorite bicycle crunch. This time we're going to do 20 on each side for the bicycle crunch. So, what I'm going to do is my legs are extended. My hands are behind my head. I'm going opposite elbow to opposite knee. That's one. That's two. All right? Give me 20. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Nice. Guys, then we have our military crunches. So, if you want to do your military crunch with a dumbbell, actually, I will slow down for a second. Make sure everybody gets caught up. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> there you go, Sarah. You got this. All right. So, for my military crunch, you can do this with a dumbbell. You're going to keep your knees up the entire time, arms are overhead. You're going to come up and back down. So, keep those arms straight the entire time. You're reaching out at the top. And back down. You can do this without weight. That's not a problem. Go ahead and give me 10 of those. Ah, 
in whatever position you're starting your push-ups. So we're doing 20 seconds of push-ups, 10 seconds of rest. 20 seconds of knee grabs, 10 seconds of rest. 20 seconds of mountain climbers, 10 seconds of rest, okay? So with those mountain climbers, make sure you get those shoulders over those wrists. So you're either doing um, same arm as, as, I'm sorry, same knee to elbow, or you can do cross body. I prefer cross body, this is how it feels on my hips. All right? And we're starting in three, two, one, go. So, I'm gonna do archer planks, because my shoulder's bugging me. seconds. All right. Now we're going into our knee grabs. 20 seconds of knee grabs. Legs out straight, arms in close to the chest. Throwing those arms forward. Bringing those feet flat on the ground at the top. There we go. Trying to get those shoulders over those hips. So we come up to the top. Just 20 seconds. You got this. Five seconds left. All right. Now we're going into our mountain climbers. Again, you need to do regular or cross body. We're just not touching that foot to the ground. Make sure to keep that foot up. anybody <laughs> definitely want to make sure that nobody nobody feel like we don't burden you with sponges full of water or anything like that what what I, like I need to do is remember how long recovery takes after I've taken time off and how good I feel when I'm constantly working out as opposed to when I'm not you know and uh, that's what I feel like the moral is anyway guys we're here to help you bring forth the warrior within great job guys Woo! You need a kettlebell and you need dumbbells for curls. So kettlebells for swings and then dumbbells for curls. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Y'all 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 feisty this Monday morning. <laughs> y'all y'all being real feisty. <laughs>